Hello, everyone. This is Eric from Etiquette back for another live stream. If you're new here, say hello, put your name in the comments down below and where you're from. And first off, Happy New Year, everyone. Uh, I uh, wish you the best for 2023. It, 23. Uh, <laughs> may all your dreams and your aspirations come true. Um, my name is Eric, and every Sunday at this time, we have a live stream for teachers, and we also have some English learners in here too. If you've got any questions uh, about uh, teaching or, well, if you want to chat about something, put it in the comments below. I think our our theme for this for tonight, tonight where I am, will be New Year's resolutions. So we'll talk about what our plans are for the new year, uh, what we hope to achieve, and, you know, the systems we're going to put in place to make those dreams a reality for 2023. There, I said it right. Yeah, um, actually, uh, um, I'll, I'll talk a little bit about what I'm going to do this year. On this channel, we make co content for, for English teachers. But one of my goals for 2023 is to start another channel for English learners because I've got a lot of content for teachers and I'm making a lot every, working on more every day. And uh, so I thought I'd make some content for English learners too because the two actually cross over quite a lot. So um, let's quickly get into some of the comments and see who's here today. And we've got BM. Hey, dude. What is your unique, superb resolution in 23? Is it getting married or blocking me on your channel or meeting this president of South Korea? BM, those are all fantastic ideas. Um, let's see. For 2023, getting married? Um, yeah, I would like that, you know, if, if I found the right person and if the circumstances um, worked out. And if they like me enough, um, maybe we can make that a reality. That wouldn't be too bad. Uh, blocking you on my channel, never, you know, you've, you've been such a great part here asking fantastic questions and I enjoy having you here. Um, meeting the president of South Korea. Interesting. I haven't really thought of that. I don't know what I would say to him. You know, I, I don't feel like I've got a lot to offer. Um, I just say hello and do my best Korean and shame myself, but that would be kind of interesting. You know, I think there are a lot of uh, great people in the world doing amazing things. And if I could be connected to some of them and help other people out there, I'd like to do that. Actually, one of my goals for this year on the channel is to get more experts on this live stream because um, I've had a lot of fantastic teachers on here, but I mean, there are so many teachers out there with so much experience and knowledge that they want to share. And I'd be delighted to get them and share them with the world or on my small platform on the world. My dad is here. Dad, um, may 23 be a blessed one. Yes, dad, for you too. My dad's always working hard. And my brother too, Paul. Happy New Year. I hope you're doing well. It's so fun when you go onto Facebook. And I, I look, um, last year this time, I was in South Africa with my brother. Um, yeah, I had a great time there. So, Paul, all the best. Uh, I hope to see you. I'm thinking about going to South Africa in a year's time. So, we'll see. Noel, hi. Happy New Year from Tunisia. Ebru, hello from Turkey. Um, uh, I think uh, I was. I need to learn how to say Happy New Year in more languages. Navida. Uh, Navida. I said it so well yesterday, I can't say it now. Uh, will you bring some changes on your channel in 23? Yes. No changes, just more content. Um, on this channel, I plan to put out, let's see, 30 activity videos. I plan to put out more content and lessons for teachers. Um, what else am I working on? Yes, um, actually, right now, I'm working on 30 lessons. So I'm going to make the lesson plans. I'm going to share how to teach it. I'm going to make the resources to make it. Uh, so basically, create a syllabus for teachers to use. Because so many teachers come to me and say, Eric, I need a curriculum. I need lessons. So instead of just saying, okay, well, you know, you can find it here. Now I'm going to share exactly what activities to do. Uh, how to teach it, and also the grammar. So that is one of the goals. Wait, so activities, that. Oh, 
and I've got about 40 other um, uh, 40 other videos that I've started planning out. I need to write the scripts for them and then put them out. So my goal for this year is to put out perhaps 100 quality videos as well as maybe 50 to 100 um, shorts as well. So maybe 200 videos for 23. And while I'm bringing those out, that's a ton of work <laughs> for anybody who's edited or made any videos. That's a ton of work. But um, as soon as I bring these out, I'm going to start working on a series for 2024 just on classroom management. So that's what I'm oh, what I aim to do. Davu, happy new year, please. I want to know how to teach irregular verbs. In that course, I'm I'm creating those 30 lessons. One of the uh, so I look at all the the, the lessons most teachers ask for, and I'm also going to focus on irregular verbs. Uh, one fun activity that you can do with irregular verbs, perhaps, is, you know, when you play pairs. So, you know how pairs work is you've got like a bunch of cards and the students have to turn them over. And if it's a pair, then they win those cards and they get a point. Uh, until all the cards are completed. Maybe what you can do is use, uh, you know, uh, eat. Eight. So the students have to play this game. So that can be how usually we play it with individual students. So you can put them into groups if there are enough cards or a fun way you can play it with your students is you get a big table, you put them into two groups. Uh, one person runs to the front, turns around. If it's not right, runs back. The next person comes. So they take turns and see how many they can get. Marta, Happy New Year. I wish you all the best. You too, Martha. It's always lovely to see you. Issa from the Democratic Republic of Congo. Good to see you. How are you doing? Um, your profile's a bit small to read, so I can't really go in there. Chenar. Hi, teacher from Kurdistan. Ebru. Well, uh, oh, okay. Mutlu Yelar. I I'm sorry if I butchered it. Uh, um, Mutlu Yelar. Uh, both I enjoy your post on Insta. They seem gorgeous and tall. Actually, I took um, last night, I went out with friends. We had a merry old time. I took some photos, but I haven't really posted them on Facebook yet. Yeah, um, it was a really good time. BM, how about you? Uh, how did you bring in the new year? I had a, I had a good time. Yeah, uh, I was with friends. Well, we had a good time. Got home quite late and just survived the day to get to this live stream. Mario. Uh, Feliz Ano Nuevo. There we go. Uh, I'm so embarrassed. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, um, yeah, Feliz uh, Ano Nuevo. Uh, three language, but as the Spanish speaking. Thank you, Mario. Mario, one of the longest viewers on this channel. Uh, by the way, guys. Um, yeah, so my one of my goals is to start a new um, channel just for English learners. And I'm just going to blast YouTube with content. A couple of years ago, I shot, uh, I took a month and I shot a series on English questions and answers. And I'm going to bring those out on the new channel. I've also started making a series on how to teach, uh, how to learn English. I'm also going to get some help for English vocabulary, idioms. And of course, I'll put some grammar, uh, grammar on there too. Um, I'm going to share the channel with you. Actually, I put it in the description below, but I'll paste it here now. If you are English, uh, interested in English learning, please subscribe to the channel. Um, it, it'll really help it out. I, I want to see how quickly I can grow it. And I'm going to be posting maybe two videos a week. Um, if we can push it up, maybe three videos a week, I'm going to be pushing on there. So yeah, it's going to be busy. And Mario, love the profile pic. Okay, so guys, check out the channel if you're interested. Uh, I'd appreciate it. Uh, um, I've only got one video out there now, but I'm going to be posting two a week for now. And then maybe in a couple of weeks, I'll push up to three. Uh, An Anunciata. Uh, Happy New Year from Como Lake. Uh, Marta, it seems like it's going to be another busy year for you. It's nice having goals and working on it. Yeah, um, I think so. One of the things that it's, that's important, we all say we should have goals, you know, because if you don't have goals, you don't know what to aim for. And what I like to do is even if I go and I have, I've got all these ideas and all these projects that I have to work on. So I like to write them all down. 
so that I know exactly what I need to be working on. Because if I just go and sit down for a couple of hours, I'm just going to be watching YouTube or, uh, you know, I've, I've been watching a few things on Netflix. I'm currently watching that Knives Out. Um, uh, what is it? The, the, the Golden Onion. Uh, don't spoil it for me. I'm, I'm halfway through it. So very interesting, great actors in there. Um, yeah, so uh, anyway, so you've got to write down your goals. and But the thing is, a lot of people think we should just have those goals, but that that's not the whole truth. It's important to have something to aim at. But now you've got to put the structures in place to achieve those goals. Because, you know, there are a lot of, there are thousands of motivated people who uh, who go to the Olympics with the same goal, but only one can, uh, only a few can get medals, right? So um, you've got to not only have the goals and the motivation, but you should also put structures in place for you to succeed. So that's what I'm doing. Uh, I have a friend that's helping me. Uh, I'm teaching him how to edit and putting some of those out. My dad is also helping me. And yeah, I've, I've, I've got a clear uh, um, way of writing the scripts. I, I, I'm, I'm looking for what's important and trying to share it. So yeah, very important. Marta, thank you. Uh, Tenard from Kurdistan. Hi, Gabriela. Good to see you. Happy New Year from Peru, our first Peruvian. Uh, will you teach idioms? Yes, I will. Um, but what I'm thinking is, so um, I'm, I'm going to ask, because idioms are quite simple. You know, you just explain the idiom and you can do that. I can make those videos. But I think uh, I've only got limited time to work on certain videos. So I'm going to be busy with what I think is more important. And that's this course that I'm busy with to help teachers. And the grammar part of it, I can post on the English Learning Channel. Uh, and so what I'm going to do is I want to find another teacher to help out to shoot the idiom videos. I can help them script it out and I, I can help with the editing. But if I can have, uh, I want to find preferably uh, another female teacher because people get tired of hearing my my old voice and just seeing me. So I would love to find um, a, a teacher to help. I might have a friend here that can do it, but we'll see, BM. And we will be teaching idioms. I feel like there are some great um, idioms and co-locations that we should be teaching. Hi from Russia. Well, I, I heard something interesting about Russia. So Russia, they actually celebrate New Year or is it New Year on uh, January 7th. And then from New Year until January 7th, it's a it's a party every day, something like that. I think that's a great way to bring in the new year, not just one day where you where you have fun and you're hungover or tired the next day, uh, but actually making a week out of it. I like that idea. Hi from Algeria. Feliz Ano Nuevo. I knew it. Guys, I think I had a live stream last year and I learned it and then I, I totally forgot it. So thank you so much for helping me. Uh, Buon La Bang. Hi. Happy New Year from Laos. First live. Yeah, my first live for the year. Uh, I've been doing this almost three years now. So almost three years. Wow. It's been a long time. And uh, I'm, I'm very excited. I've got a lot of great video ideas of things I want to put out. Unfortunately, with the channel, it doesn't do really well around this time. So it gives me time to, to work on new videos to put out. So yeah, like I said, the English course is going to be 30 lessons made for teachers that they can teach. Uh, I'm going to bring out, I, I want to get more experts on the live stream to interview. And also, um, what, those 40 videos I've scripted out. And what was the other thing? Uh, under Oh, yeah, the activities. So maybe in a week's time, I'll go to a school and I'm going to shoot 30 activities I haven't shown on the channel yet. Do it with real learners. This time, I'll ask them to remove their masks so we can see them and hear them uh, clearer. And um, I think what I'll do with those videos, I'll also put them in compilation. So it should work well. Antonio from El Salvador. Hi. Uri Elio. Good to see you. Happy New Year for you too. Oh, looking like a stud in that profile pic. Uh, Sikam, hi, happy new year from Myanmar, Eli, also from the DRC, welcome. Um, I've also put the, the new channel that I'm making, I'm also putting it on Facebook, just like 
this channel is on Facebook now. I, um, I'll quickly find it later, but um, the, the channel is there. The channel name. Okay, now some of you are going to give me grief about the channel name, but the channel name, I, I wanted something that stands out because with the English teaching channel, I feel like, um, you know, there aren't many big channels out there. So I need someone to chase, someone to to uh, try and, you know, try and um, do something that stands out and gets someone uh, gets everyone's attention. So it, it's going to sound kind of um, what is the opposite of modest? <laughs> but the channel's name is the best English learning channel. OK, yeah, no. So um, uh, the, the reason I put it like that is because I thought I could do something like English with Eric or uh, learn English something, you know. But I thought, let's stand out and let's ruffle some feathers and make it something interesting that stands out. So uh, the best English learning channel, uh, because it does a few things. Yes, it does make a statement. But uh, unless you you put in the work and you actually put out great content that how uh, that uh, helps um, uh, viewers, it's not going to be that. So it puts a lot of pressure on me to make good content for that niche. And also, there are some fantastic channels out there that I can chase. And I like that idea. I, I, I need a reason to wake up in the morning and that will be it. Uh, Camila, uh, Camilia, hi from Algeria. Uh, Abdal Salam, uh, is New Year key for starting to plan a goal? I think so. You know, a lot of people say, you know, New Year's resolutions, uh, the, the gym is always... The gym is always full the Monday after New Year's, and then a month later, there's no one there. So, but for me, I've I've used um, New Year's resolutions quite effectively in the past. Um, I, I I've I've quit some things. I started studying more when I uh, I started for my masters. I've uh, for one year I thought, okay, well, let's try this out. Let's quit coffee for a year, and I did. I thought, okay, well, let's do it. So it also helps me build that willpower. So now um, I believe that 23, 2023, I need to work hard. I need to put in the time, the effort, um, and really work hard on this channel and start this new one. And that way, even, you know, uh, some people have told me, Eric, just wait with the channel. But now what I like about it is that I know exactly when I started. I, I started... Um, uh, January 1st. I don't need to work out when I actually started uploading. So I put out the first video on the new channel, uh, planning to do two a week for the next year uh, or for the next six months, maybe up that to three. So I'm planning on putting out maybe 200 videos on the new channel and on this channel, uh, 100 quality videos. So yeah, it's, it's a tall task, but I think, you know, with um, uh, if you have the right planning and people that support you, I can try and do it. Hope, hopefully everything goes well this new year. Yeah, everyone, um, I wish you all the best. Uh, I want you to achieve your goals and to to find what makes you happy. Um, for me, you know, you all know what I want to do. You know, um, hopefully get married, start a family. That's high on the list. But also, you know, I feel like this is the year, um, you know, I'm, I'm getting closer to my 40s. Scary. Uh, but so I want to work hard. So before I, I reach that dreaded 4-0 that I've, I've I've done something, you know, and then um, and I've learned and I've, I've I've tried to apply myself wisely. So hopefully that works. My dang happy new from South Sudan. I like that happy new. Uh, <laughs> Antonio, um, how much Spanish do I speak? So most of you know, my languages aren't very good. I speak a couple of African languages. I've never worked at my Korean, but I can have a conversation. It's okay. Um, and then my Spanish and other languages, horrendous. But I am, um, I am surrounding myself with more people that speak different languages. So I've got a French friend. I've got some Hindi friends that I'm... Um, trying to learn from. Uh, I've got uh, some Spanish friends, but I'm very slow to learn. You know, I, I feel like um, for me, um, having the right mindset and focus, focus is so important. And because I'm so focused on creating content for teachers and trying to help teachers, uh, it's sometimes difficult for me to kind of think of other things, you know, so it's, it's, it, 
you know, I can only, I, I struggle at juggling, you know, so I, if I have one ball that I can throw up and down, that's fantastic. You know, I can keep it going. If I've got two balls, yeah, we can. But if I add in too many other languages and more other things, three balls, four balls, yeah, that's going to fall on my head and it's not going to be there. Uh, I have just subscribed, BM. Thank you, everyone. Yeah, check out that channel. I've only got one video on there, but I'm going to be posting to a, a two um, uh, a week and I'm going to get some more fresh faces on there to um, to do some more. Thank you, BM. Mario, the thumbs up. Carpet, hi from Algeria. Thank you for your job. It's really helped me improve our Russian educational system oh, dramatically. You know what? I've I've only heard good things uh, about the Russian educational system. Um, I, I uh, not many people know it, but I I know that it's actually uh, quite a uh, you know uh, most Russian teachers are so proud of the work they put in. So I don't know why it's uh, deteriorating. Um, you know, my goal is also to visit some countries and to see how teaching is done. But I've I've only met a, a fantastic Russian teachers. Um, yeah, it's it's interesting. Uh, last night I was out, and so um, yeah, I'm I'm not I'm not a celebrity or anything. But because I post a lot of videos, especially there's one group for South African teachers, which I post in. Uh, you know, some of my videos once a week. And I went out last night to a foreigner bar. So I can see some of the people, uh, you know, kind of recognize me. And this this one lady came up and she just, she said, Eric, I just want to say thank you for, for helping with videos. And I, I was, I, I was flattered, but also kind of embarrassed at the same time. Because uh, I always say this, I feel like until for the past four years that I've got the channel, I've just been practicing making videos. Um, my real goal is to um, learn how to make good videos, uh, work on the craft, find out what teachers want and produce content that I'm really proud of, you know, where the sound is good, the video, the script, the ideas, that it's truly helpful. So I, I feel like I've only been playing up till now. Wait until Eric gets serious and can do things well. So th that is my aim that, um, you know, by the by this time next year, or, or in two years' time, I've put out all the videos that I've promised you guys, and I can I can really be proud of what I put out. That I that I feel like uh, I've I've made a change. But I'm just one guy making videos, um, so you know I'm I'm not too hard on myself. But on on the other hand, I'm very hard on myself. So I'm I'm grateful for all of you and for these kind words. But I I hope to do you justice in the future. Jacquard, Happy New Year from the Happy Isles of Solomon. Hi. Wow. Fantastic. Yes, a whole week. Wow. That's going to be fun. Uh, Elaine. Hi from Madagascar. Good to see you again. Z. Hello from Iran. Uh, Anunciata. Hi from Komalek. We are from Italy. I might be visiting Italy. Sorry, guys. Um, um, Got a bit of gas. It's especially when I sit down and I speak nonstop. I've been drink, drinking some <laughs> water. Um, so, oh, your plans is here. Yeah, so I put it out. So new channel, lots of videos, especially useful ones. And I want to create the course and also put out more books. Um, I want to put out resources that teachers and learners find helpful. So I want to put out more books to reach more people. I might be putting out my dad's working on another book with me is uh, a thousand um, uh, academic or, or a thousand uh, academic words for IELTS. Um, so I think that'll be really useful. So it's uh, it's vocabulary plus, uh, you know, the definition, but the definition put in a way that it's easily understood with an example sentence. Um, another thing, oh yeah, another thing I'm working on is uh, I've actually, I worked on it last year, is a video, uh, a video series specifically about, about how to teach for tests. So it's IELTS and it's TEFL. You, you know, is it TEFL? Yeah, it's a, no, it's a, yeah, it's the TEFL course. Yeah, the, the TEFL. Um, so I'm, I'm, I'm making these videos about how to teach for those tests and then also tips and tricks for students to study and do well in those tests. And that's actually where the idea came up for doing another channel because I had all these ideas for content to make, but they wouldn't really fit on this channel. I want to really zone in on, on teachers, and I don't want to dilute it with uh, other content meant for English learners. So that's why I've got both 
channels going. And while I'm just sitting here at home, um, you know, working anyway, well, I don't work at home. I go and sit in a, a study cafe. It's this, it's this, uh, it's basically like a basement with white walls all around me. And I sit there with my laptop for six hours a day, sometimes eight hours. And I just work. So, um, yeah, I don't work at home. It's so difficult for me to focus here. So that's why I go away. And yeah, a lot of plans. But yeah, I'm, I'm just grateful for the support, guys, that I can do that. By the way, if you've got, uh, tell uh, in the comments below, what are your New Year's resolutions? What do you hope to achieve? What do you plan to achieve uh, th this, this year? I'm very excited to see. I think I'm going to start... So I've got class tomorrow. I think I'm going to start and ask my students that. Everyone, quickly think, what are some academic goals you want to reach? Uh, some friendship or relationship goals you want to reach? And then maybe also some fitness goals that you want to reach. So um, if I had to put myself in there, I would say, well, um, with my career, I, went, uh, I told you about the YouTube channel with... Um, with relationships, obviously, um, develop some meaningful relationships and uh, hopefully it can advance so I can, can start a family soon. And then um, I think academic. Um, I've, I've got so many gaps in my knowledge and um, I would really like to learn um, more. And, you know, it's, it's funny. Um, uh, where is, where is uh, uh, Kev? Kev actually told me, Kev gave me a meaningful comment. Now, I love Kev because he's always honest with me. He gives me great feedback. And he basically said, Eric, listen, um, there are lots of teachers that teach grammar. There are lots of activity videos out there. But you do something different in the way that you approach classroom management. And I, 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 was, I was really flattered. So he said, Eric, you should focus on that. And the way I want to say it is I started this YouTube channel for a couple of reasons. Number one, um, I feel like while I was while I was learning how to become a teacher, I, I wasn't given enough support. And the people who were training me, I think they, they didn't teach me everything I needed to know, you know. And so that's why I started the channel is hopefully share some ideas with new teachers and well, not new teachers, but all teachers out there. Uh, the second reason was also to learn new skills. So I, I knew nothing about editing. I knew nothing about creating a thumbnail, about shooting video. I was super shy in front of camera. I'm not that shy anymore, but uh, you know, I'm, I'm still not great in front of camera. So I wanted to learn these skills. So the second reason I started this channel is to improve myself. And that is why I want to create this video, these videos on grammar and um, you know, thing topics that I might might not be my strength. Um, you know, I, I I want to focus on those. And then the third reason. Wait, I forgot what the third reason is. Uh, yeah, uh, third reason is well to become successful. No, not really. I don't know. Is, uh, is it to make an impact in the world? No, I, um, I, I don't really care too much about that. You know, um, making an impact on the world. Sure. You know, I think a uh, part of me wants to help and yeah, I guess so a little bit, but uh, I, I, I would like to think that it doesn't come from a place of, you know, I, I'm, I'm greedy or I want something, but yeah, uh, you know, if it helps my life and it helps the people closest to me, I would love it to be that way. So yeah, three reasons. Oh, wait, where was I? Oh, academically. Oh, also physically. So I said, yeah, uh, reasons, what I want to achieve with the channel, um, what I want to learn. And I want to learn new things. And then the third thing with health, I think is very important. Um, I need to get back into the gym after I broke my finger. I think it's getting better. What do you guys think? Uh, after I broke my finger, uh, I haven't, I've been like stretching and stuff, but I haven't really exercised. Uh, in two weeks, I'm going to Bali. So I'm going to swim. I'm also going to be editing um, while I'm there. Uh, I'm going to just eat a lot too. But I really want to start getting, I need to lose maybe five kilograms. It doesn't look that way. Oh, ripped. But I need to lose maybe five kilograms, which I would like to do and get back into the gym. So that's definitely my health goal is to get back into the gym, lose five kilograms. Thanks a bunch. Thank you. Usmanov. Hello, coach. <laughs> Mrs. Abuela. Happy New Year, teacher Eric. And all. I should have asked my French friend how to say Happy New Year in French. Wait, give me a second. Happy New Year. 
in French. I'm one of those people that reads out bonne année, bonne année. Okay, wait, let me. Bonne année, bonne année. Bon ani. Okay, got it. Bon ani. Happy New Year. Can I ask? The, yeah, guys, by all means, please ask questions. I'll be going down. If, if you've got any questions related to teaching, I'd be happy to try and answer to the best of my ability. Right now, I'm just talking about New Year's resolutions. Um, are you in Japan? No, I am in South Korea. I have been to Japan a few times. Beautiful country. A fairy world. Happy New Year to you too. Yuva, hi teacher. Happy New Year. Gladys, happy New Year. Good to see you again. Gladys from Kenya. Hi Gladys. Yeah, you can find me on YouTube. Uh, same channel name. Wait, it, it, it's a cute English teachers. It's on there. Julard, good to see you. Happy New Year. I hope and wish all the best for you. Antonio, so I want to ask two things. The first thing, short goals. Second, uh, what are your long goals? I always have goals, guys. I always have something I need to reach. Uh, Short-term goals. I've got a video I'm working on now. It's a, it's a sponsored video for a TEFL course. Uh, so I'm finishing up the TEFL course and I'm creating a video for them. But sometimes you, you have to make these videos to keep the channel up and running. And then um, my, uh, my short-term goal for this month is to complete is to complete the course that I'm creating. It's 30 lessons. It's, it's kind of tough, but I'm, I'm working at it. Um, it's also to shoot is to shoot 30 activity videos. So in two days, I'm going to a school and I'm just shooting 30, 30 videos. And then I'm going on vacation. And for one month, I'm just going to be editing these videos. That's my short term goal. And long term, I just um, spoke about it. How about you, Antonio? What are your goals? Uh, Happy New Year from Como Lake. Awesome idea. Thank you. Um, Malik from Pakistan. Hi, Gladys. Happy New Year. Liesel, good to see you. Happy New Year. Wish you, we all have a lovely year. Yet. Liesel, all the best for you and everyone here. I'm so happy to see you all now. As it's one of Ah, I'm so bad. See, uh, Assalamualaikum, sir. Wahid from Ula from Pakistan. Interested to do IELTS, but I'm a beginner. Guide me. Um, yeah, so there are lots of study guides out there for um, doing the IELTS. Um, lots of channels for that too. Um, my plan is with the new channel. And uh, like I said, I'm also working on those videos specifically for IELTS learners. So I'll be sharing on the other channel. I'll be sharing a lot of vocabulary, idioms. I'll also share some tips um, on learning English and also for the tests themselves too. It will take some time. Like I said, I've got so many plans, so many things I'm working on. So hopefully I can finish it. And then um, when it comes out, I hope it will help. Uh, did you read Tools for Teachers? Yes, I have. Tools for Teachers, uh, what's his name? I have. There are so many um, English uh, teacher books that I, I, I want to read all of them too. So one of the reasons why I'm waiting before I do the big series on classroom management. I've done a bunch of videos and I've got a lot of ideas, but I would like to go through all these books for teachers. Uh, let me see. Teacher Tools. Yeah, I've definitely read it. Uh, book. Oh, let's see. Tools for Teachers. Uh, Oliver Lovell. I think I, uh, I read this one. Is it this one? Maybe I did. Yeah. I think so. I've definitely read it. But um, the other thing is I would like to read all these teacher books, uh, find the best information because op often, often, I like to say often, but I always tell my students it's okay. You can use both. Um, so of, um, often you find with books that maybe they put some good ideas at the start and the rest of the book is just fluff. It's not really that important. Now, my goal is to work through these books, find the best ideas, write them down, and then share them with, with everyone out there. So that's my idea. And for you too, Mrs. Abuela. Um, Mario popping sh some champagne. I had some champagne last night. I opened the bottle, and I was careful not to shoot. I'm, I'm, guys, one thing I can tell you, if I open up a champagne bottle and I want to hit someone, Anytime. I'm I'm super accurate when I open those up. But there were people around me. And in, in, instead of shaking it a little bit and popping it out and taking someone, hopefully not taking someone's eye out, um, I just opened it softly, poured the champagne, and we had a good time, all my friends together. Kadija, hi from Algeria. 
Happy New Year. Uh, Latif, um, how are you, sir? Happy New Year from Sri Lanka. Happy New Year. Bonnie Esther, Happy New Year. Love uh, from Massachusetts, USA. Uh, <laughs> Bonnie Esther is a fantastic Spanish teacher. Uh, she, she always tells me, Eric, I will teach you some Spanish. Bonnie Esther, um, you know what my greatest fear is? You take me as a student. And I'm just so dreadfully bad that 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 you just quit teaching uh, Spanish. You're like, wait, there's someone I can teach. He's just horrible. No, I know I wouldn't be that bad. But still, you know, my pronunciation is horrible. But I would love to learn. I think in the future, when I plan a trip to um, uh, South America, maybe North America, I'll definitely need to learn some. Bonnie Esther, uh, I wish the best for you in 2023. Um, um, uh, you've been on the channel and, you know, uh, I'm so grateful for all the support you and all our, our other viewers too. By the way, guys, one of the other things that's going to happen one month from now, actually six weeks from now, we're going to do a daily live stream with a different teacher every day. Um, during the week, I will share the schedule. So I'll start it on a Sunday, and then we've got all these fantastic teachers coming to share ideas for one hour, same time. Uh, it, I just want to see how it works if we go live daily. I think it'll be it's it's going to be almost like a webinar. Uh, teachers can join, they can watch it, they can rewatch it, and you know uh, teachers can share ideas. And I just I just love that idea of doing a live stream every day. And I think it can if if it goes well, it can definitely be a yearly event where for one week every day it, we can watch some um, uh, content for an hour, teachers sharing and teaching some ideas. Okay, Eric, speak English and Korean. Yeah, my Korean is, isn't great, but I can, I can hold a conversation if I want to. But one of my goals, which I'm not going to work on this year, is to improve my Korean. Um, because I've been in Korea so long, but I've I haven't really invested that much time trying to become really good at it. For uh, Vaz, happy New Year! Uh, what's the advice for someone who needs to create a channel? Uh, pick a niche, pick a topic, um, research uh, the the other YouTubers in that niche, um, find out what videos to make, learn how to make videos, how long it takes, and be consistent. So pick a niche. Uh, Write down 50 things you can write about that niche uh, and then make a video at least once a week where you put it out. And uh, I think that's it is being consistent and putting things out. Now, what's I think with this channel, I've been so fortunate to have amazing viewers watch me and that uh, and, and that just pushes me to do better. Um, but now I'm creating um, a, a new channel in a saturated niche where there are so many channels out there. So uh, I'm kind of curious to see if these YouTuber skills that I've picked up um, over the past four years, if I can take that and start a new channel and see how quickly I can grow it. With the new channel, I'm going to be hustling. I'm going to be pushing. But I would like to reach 20 to 50,000 subscribers in one year. Now, that is a lot. Now, it, to put that in context, um, I think it took, the first year I had my channel, I think I reached 4,000, 5,000 um, with my channel. So um, to go for 20 to 50,000 on that niche is going to be tough, but I think I can make it work. I'm going to be hustling hard. Magdi, hello, Eric. How was your weekend? It was great. Um, Friday, what did I do Friday? Friday, I worked. No, wait. Friday, I went to a sauna. I say sauna, but in Korea, it's it's sauna. I went to the sauna with a with a friend. Uh, it was so much fun. You get out of there and you're just so relaxed. Saturday, actually Saturday, so Friday, I went into the office and this friend of mine asked me. He said, "Eric, can you give me a lift to um, to um, my work?" He he was doing some work. Um, it, it's just like a thirty minute drive at eight a.m. and I was like, okay, I've got nothing planned. I just wanted to work on some videos. And so Saturday morning, woke up early, picked him up. He bought me some Starbucks, drove in there, drove back. It took, well, it, it actually took 40, 40 minutes each way. Um, 
And then, um, yeah, at night, last night, I went out with friends, had a fantastic time, came back home late and just rested most of the time. Uh, oh, yeah, wait, I went to eat some Indian food today and had um, coffee. Yeah, so not a bad start to the year. Fabaz, Happy New Year from Yemen. Uh, Song, hello from Cambodia. Happy New Year. Marcos, happy 2023 from Argentina. Are you guys done partying yet? Uh, I, I, I heard it was amazing celebrations after the World Cup. Happy New Year. Wishing you and your family a happy new year filled with hope, health, and happiness. What a wonderful message. Thank you so much, Magdi, for you too. Uh, I only wish the best for, for you and your family and all our beautiful viewers out there. Sardasht, hello, sir. How so happy to see you. You too, Sardasht. Uh, accounting, hi. Is there demand for non-native English teachers in Australia and Canada? Hmm. I'm not sure. I know that there, there, is a, there, there is a demand for teachers across the world. You know, so many teachers are leaving the profession for non-native English teachers. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Uh, but I know that if you want to get into those countries and you want to get a visa to work there, you need the qualifications and the experience. So definitely check it out and find out and see if you can make it. Uh, Gayan, uh, Arun, welcome. And Salma, Salma, how are you doing? You changed your profile pic. Arun, good to see. I just wanted to say Arun again because you're always here and I just wanted to say thank you. And Salma, Samuen. Uh, hi, Samuen. Samuen. I think I got it. Uh, Afsana, uh, will your lives on your second channel? I can't wait to see it. <laughs> um, we'll see. I think um, to go live, in the past, you needed um, a certain amount of subscribers to be able to go live. But... Um, I haven't thought of it, actually, BM. Going live for the second channel, maybe. But, you know, it's it's kind of difficult uh, uh, going live for English learning. Um, maybe I will. But if, if I went live on the English learning channel, like when I do this channel, it's just me talking. Uh, a lot of friends and other YouTubers have told me, Eric, when you go live, have a structure, have some topics that you want to talk about, do a presentation because after that, then you can cut it up and you can repurpose it for your channel. You know, create shorter cut video uh, on some of the things you talk about. But <laughs> I just like going live like this and chatting with you guys and hopefully share some ideas. Oh, I, I enjoy it. It's a, it's a nice end to the week and start to the week, the next week for me. But I think with the English learning channel, what would be best is if I ha had some topics. So let's say I focused on vocabulary, focused on some grammar, focused on some idiom, some uh, whatever it might be, um, or some grammar. So I think I might do that. I might just grab a book and say, okay, everyone, this is going to be our topic for today. Let's talk about this. So maybe BM, I'll see, I'll look into it, but that's a good idea. When would I do a live? I think what I'm going to do with, the, with this new channel and this channel is I'm going to be posting at the same time maybe the same time, maybe not. I'll see, maybe I'll, I'll do like every Tuesday and Thursday I do on this channel and on the other channel every Monday, Wednesday and Friday, I'm thinking. Yeah, maybe that's better. It's just that I like, I like knowing when I post things. So on this channel, for example, every Tuesday, I put out uh, big videos and a short on Thursdays. But if I make enough content, then I'd, I'd like to go um, two videos a week. And on that channel, three week videos and maybe some shorts too. BM, great idea. I haven't really thought of that. Hello, my name is Lai from Cambodia, another Cambodian. Uh, April, hi. I have chosen the word insight as my one word for 2003. So what do you do, Bonnie? So I, I like I like having it as a goalpost, you know? So you're going to write it. Uh, do you put it uh, like on your fridge uh, to be reminded? I like that idea, you know? Um, I think, you know, having something... I know a lot of people have what vision boards where they they put a Ferrari or a house or family or whatever you you hope to achieve, you know. So every morning you wake up or you write it on your mirror, your bathroom mirror. So every time you go in to brush your teeth each morning, apologies, everyone. Um, and you you are inspired and you know what your what your focus is for that week. 
Uh, for me, I just keep everything in here and then I write it down and hopefully it works out. But I like that insight. Uh, I'm curious. Uh, and uh, why why insight? Is there a specific reason? Uh, I, I know there is. You, you wouldn't just pick a word out of a hat. There's a reason for it. That's why I'm curious. Uh, I'm going to do hi there all. My mom is here. Hi, son, and hello to all the new viewers. By the way, guys, like I said, um, I'm going to post the channel in here. I also put it in the comments. This is the new channel that I'm making. I only put out one video, but I'll post uh, two each week. Um, so please check it out and support. I'd really appreciate it. So I'd, uh, happy new year, Eric. Most of my goals have come through the year, not specifically in January. Maybe I would like to read more this year. My question is, how strong is the co connection between, uh, sorry, between a good lesson plan and classroom management? Very important. Um, you know, with a lesson plan, it shows you basically what you're going to do during class. And I found that one of the biggest issues with classroom management is that a teacher isn't quite sure what they have to do in class, you know, what the structure, the layout of the class is going to be, what the warm up activity is, uh, how you're going to get your students invested, what kind of practice activities to do, what uh, worksheets or workbooks or things you have for them to do, um, how you're going to take feedback, how you're going to end the lesson. So when you make your lesson plan, you have a clear idea of exactly what has to happen in the class. And when you have that clear idea, your students will also know what's going needs to be ha happening during the week. So a lot of uh, during the, the lesson. So if you a, a lot of the problems with bad classroom management is that the, the students, they feel like they they don't need to be invested because things aren't really going their way. But if there are things they have to do each class, they're like, oh, wait, I, I don't have time to misbehave and to act out. I've got this to do. And then we're doing this and this and this. Um, I think the word is clarity. Once you have clarity of what you want to happen in your class, you, um, you'll be better at classroom management because you guys are like, okay, guys, we have to do this. Um, and, you know, it'll also show you off as a leader. I I've said it countless times before that students need to respect you as a leader in class. And um, as the leader, you should guide them. But if you don't have a good lesson plan, you don't have a clear way to guide them. So th that is why there is such a strong connection between good lesson planning and classroom management. Great question, Suad, and uh, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Really happy about that. Um, and uh, good luck for your goals. Uh, with reading, guys, I'm so... Uh, I haven't read in a long time. I've got books that I started with that I hope to take with me on vacation and go and finish. Now, usually the best way that I learn or read is I actually listen to audiobooks, but I haven't even done that in a long time. And I know that I need to get back on it because I'm just walking around or, you know, I'm, I'm watching YouTube or Netflix now, but I, I should start reading. I always tell everybody else to read. I'm like, guys, you have to read. And then I'm like, Eric, what's the last book you have read? <laughs> listen to my words, not my actions, you, you know? Uh, so um, I, I should, I should definitely do that too. And all of you, I want at least Six books this year. That's two, uh, one book uh, every two months. That's my goal. It's not too high. Six books uh, a year uh, for all of us. There are lots of teacher books out there that I have to read and get through to get more ideas. Okay. Six books for this year. Uh, I think that's a good one. Michelle, good evening. Dan, thank you so much. Hey, good to see you. Happy New Year. Letty. You helped me a lot in the pandemic when we first had online classes for the first time. I felt like crowning. A big thanks. Thank you, Letty. And by the way, I'm going to spoil it for all of you. Don't know. Letty, sorry, I'm going to tell just a few people on the live stream. Letty is going on vacation. She's going to Australia. Letty, I hope you have a fantastic time in Australia. Um, I, I, you know, I, I just want the best for you guys. And I think you need a break. You've been working very hard. So get out there. But um, like I said, if I'm in Italy uh, during summer, I'll make a plan to meet up and see you. Um, I, I, uh, we, I've got a few view viewers in Italy and in Europe that I would love to see. Uh, Maria, uh, what do you think about teachers who criticize their students' handwriting? Hmm. I think it's good. I think it's good. As someone with a terrible handwriting, um, 
I, I wasn't ashamed of my handwriting. I knew that I could do better. And I think um, if, if that criticism comes from a place of love and wanting your student to be better, do it. You know, some students are just creative and they like writing well. But I think, you know, um, what is that saying? It was just in my head. Um, something, uh, cleanliness is next to godliness, you know? And I think it's the same if, if we teach our students to care about their writing. Um, it also shows something off about their personalities. And if they care about their writing, um, not that it has to be perfect, but it, it presents themselves to the world. You know, um, often I've got, a, I've got an ugly signature. And my handwriting is also not good. Even when I write on the board, my skills aren't great. But uh, I think teachers should take uh, care, uh, uh, should take an interest in their students' handwriting uh, because it is a way that they project themselves into the world. Sorry, I'm playing with my monitor. So that's why it's bouncing around. Yeah, I think so. You know, uh, but I'm not going to say that we've got to um, be horrible to our students if they you know, they don't write, they don't have a pretty handwriting, but we should care just like everything else we should care, you know. So if a student um, made some mistakes, you know, um, uh, while speaking, you know, we would help them out, you know, and it's the same with that. Latif, Happy New Year. Uh, Mato, my first goal is to quit coffee. The second is to increase my income. Great. The third is to fall in love. The fourth is to exercise more often and the fifth is to travel for all amazing goals. Where would you like to travel to? I think, um, yeah, I've been drinking a lot of coffee recently. A lot of coffee recently. Uh, I don't see that changing, but I think, you know, uh, one of the things that will help with that is uh, changing your habits. And that's why I want to go on vacation so that I'm not constantly surrounded by coffee shops. So every time I go and I do my work, I, I buy this big jug of coffee and uh, it's just become a habit at this point. Um, so if you change your, you know, your habits or your or where you are, it can also help uh, increase your income. Very important. Um, a, a lot of people have asked me, Eric, are you interested in money? Um, no. Uh, uh, anybody who knows me and who's been out with me, you know that I don't mind spending money. Like I would buy drinks or food or, you know, I, I don't really care about those things that much. Um but I, I should be a bit more frugal, I know. Well, I, it's not like I, I wear the same old clothes all the time. Um, but, you know, I've got things that I need to save and I need people to help, uh, to support. Um, also, I would like to start a family in the future. So I understand that I need to be building my income for that to happen. Uh, where I am currently, I'm a single bachelor sitting in a small apartment. And, you know, I've, I've got a really old car. I think it's like a 2003 model. It's 20 years old. It's. Uh, I was. I was talking a fr my French friend. He sent me a message. He's like, "Oh, Eric, I bought this new car. Beautiful car." And uh, I said, "Oh, yeah, we're going to drive in your car from now on because my car is a uh, is a is a lady interest killer. You know, because as is a lady killer because as soon as she gets in the car, it kills off all interest. So." Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I don't care about materialistic th uh, material things, you know, I'm not materialistic, but I understand that for the future, I need to be working on that too. So that is why I'm, I'm working hard, you know, um, because it is important to help those closest to me and also, you know, for my future goals. And uh, yeah, exercise more often important. That's one of my goals. Fall in love. Um, yeah, I think it's not only falling in love, but um Love is also work. It's something that you've got to work on. Not that I'm an expert or anything, but uh, I've been told that, you know, it's we think that love should be effortless, but it's it's everything but. Yeah, there should be attraction, but it should be mutual. You should work at it every day. So fall in love, but also we should practice um, loving. We should practice loving. Write that down. Quote from Eric. Um, and then traveling abroad. I'm very fortunate. I'm going to be traveling to to Indonesia in two weeks time, two weeks time. Yeah. Two week, two or three weeks time, three weeks time, almost in between. And, um, then, like I said, 
um, I haven't been to Europe. I, I, I'm planning to go to Europe this summer. I, I would just love to. Uh, yeah, and then I, I think that's important. Um, Bonnie Esther, Eric, you're great at serving others, both teachers and uh, learners. Thank you so much, Bonnie Esther. Bon and uh, I said it wrong again. I just heard it. Happy New Year, Saida. Guys, I'm very slow. I've got five minutes left. I've learned a lot. Thank you so much. I will. And I've got lots of great videos to come out. Spanish is very easy. After Portuguese, Italian, Romance languages are easy. Yeah, I think so. I think I would understand Spanish much easier than it was to study Spanish or uh, Korean. Uh, they've actually they, they've got a list of uh, uh, which languages are the hardest to learn. And I think Spanish is one of the easier ones, whereas um, other languages where, you know, it's got a different form and um, a different structure. It's got a different alphabet is way more difficult, whereas uh, in Spanish uses the same um, alphabet and a similar structure. So and a lot of the words are similar, too. So I don't think it's that difficult. It's just that pronunciation. And if I'm wrong, don't, don't, don't um, you know, don't do anything bad to me. But I, I think it's like that. I think Spanish should be easier, but my pronunciation is so bad. Uh, Moose, hi there from Cambodia. I'm so cloud nine to see you. Well, happy to be here. Martin, happy, uh, happy new year. Everyone, Martin also has a channel. Um, check it out, ELT Experiences. Uh, I had a wonderful Christmas and a happy new year to you and your family, Martin. Uh, year of the rabbits. Yeah, what is it? Is it silver rabbits, white rabbits? Uh, year of the rabbits. Uh, year of the rabbits. What kind of rabbits is it? <laughs> I think it's the white rabbit, is it? Wait, where are you? What color is the rabbit? Wait, what color is the rabbit? What? Color is the here of the rabbits. Okay, here we go. Um, according, it's the water rabbits. Okay, the lucky color is the earth or zodiac. Hmm, okay, interesting. Uh, <laughs> first home, good to see you guys. First home has been sharing a lot of the, the videos on uh, Facebook. First home, thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Come to our country, Algeria. We have natural, amazing saunas. Oh, I didn't know that. I might try that. Nadia. Happy New Year. Javier, uh, Happy New Year from Chile. Uh, Chile. Uh, thank you so much. Uh, which uh, I have improved a lot since I married her. I have improved a lot since I have married her. I have improved a lot since I married her. Yeah, I think that's fine. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Happy New Year. You're from Cambodia. Okay. But I prefer English. Mario, you're so talented, you know? I think I told you that a while ago. I said, Mario, you're so talented. Uh, it's amazing. Uh, Magdi, I've learned a lot. Thank you so much. Uh, Happy New Year, Sok. Omar, Happy New Year. I'm getting new more insight from listening to others. Needing insight to know how and growing in targeted ways. Check out One Word links online. Okay, I definitely will. But Bonnie Esther, I think it's great to learn from other people. Um, but, you know, um, one thing is, you know, I, I've learned a lot from you. And I think you've got so much knowledge and uh, uh, experience to share with uh, with all of us out there. So I'm excited to see more of you, to get some more insight from you. Omar, and it's not just teaching, you know, it's it's more than that. It's, uh, you know, it's life and, um, and how to be a good person, you know. Uh, I think you do so many things that, you know, that brighten my day when you send me a message or, you, you know, you, you show a video clip of something fun or interesting that happened in your life. I think that's amazing. Uh, Omar, good teacher. Thank you. Are you a teacher? Yes, I am. Or I try to be. Uh, peace, mercy and blessings. Kurdish. He's one of the kindest people ever. For you guys who don't know that, Kurdish, I wish you the best. You're such a good person. Amazing speech. Thank you. Valentina, Happy New Year. Bye-bye, uh, Mario. Uh, Mariam, uh, what do you think of teachers? Who, uh, yeah, I think I answered that. Safar, Happy New Year. Jawad. Uh, we need to show to read uh, our students. They should be proud of you. Very important. Yeah. You know, we should take pride in our work. If we don't, you know, we're not going to try and excel and improve. Happy, fabulous New Year. Should we be friends with students or should there be distance between teachers? There should always be boundaries. Uh, you cannot be their friend, but you, you can be kind and you can be close. 
um, but there should be boundaries. You know, it's it's very easy for those boundaries to get crossed. So be friendly with your students, be kind to them, but you will never just be their friend. Um, you know, being their friend means that you won't criticize them or punish them when they do something wrong. So you can be friendly with your students, but you cannot be their friend. You you are not their equal. They are there to learn from you and you are there to facilitate their learning. You know, so do it in a fun way that's engaging, but there should there should be boundaries. Uh, 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 I would like to... Ex uh, oh, <laughs> guys, I, I can't do it. Uh, Finland, uh, it's one of my favorite countries. So for this year, Finland... Marta, you have to go. I think it'll be amazing. Yeah, that's it. Your, my car's a chick repellent. That's exactly what it is. Uh, not all ladies fancy. Yeah, but it makes a difference. You know, if my friend drives a really nice car, uh, you know, it looks good. You know, you're proud of it. When you drive this old car, it's really bad for the image. It's, it's similar to how you dress. You know, it's how you present yourself to the world. So at some point, I need to re let go of that car of mine. It's just, it's been so cheap and so it's so reliable. But yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm not winning any, any points on looks. Um, everyone, I'm going to quit there. Oh, no, I'm not going to quit. I'm just going to say goodbye. Uh, thank you so much for the kind support. Um, I wish you all the best for 2023. May all your dreams and your aspirations and your goals, may you achieve them. May you learn, may you grow, and may only good things befall you and your loved ones. Yeah, everyone, thank you so much for being here. I'm Eric from Etiquette, and I'll see you this year. Bye-bye, everyone.